Well, good morning. Welcome to Green Valley United Methodist Church. My name is Mark Maddox. I'm one of the pastors here, and welcome on this wet and beautiful uh, Sunday morning where we celebrate just the renewal of the earth by the rain, and just what a great joy that is, especially in the desert, to have so much rain. Please stand and join me in the call to worship. We should try to love our neighbors. We should do good for others whenever possible. First scripture for this morning is from the Gospel according to John, chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, 
if you have love for one another. The word of God for the people of God. today is do good. Uh, if you see in the back of the, your bulletin, uh, the second page, there is something that we are doing good and you have to be very proud about it. And I am so proud of all of you for what you have been doing in this place. You can read it yourself and you can see how good you're doing outside the United States. Let's pray. Precious and loving God, thank you, Father, because you are called us not to be just in one place, Lord. You have called us to do good all over the world, Lord. 
And that's what I want to do. That's what we want to do. That's what our heart is about it. Do good to others, O oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Bless this congregation that they work all together, Lord, to give you glory, to give you honor, Lord. Thank you, Father, because it's you that you are in our heart. You are the one working for us. You are the one, Lord, that motivates us to continue day by day working for you, Lord. Lord, we just hear to listen your word. We are here to know how to do it, Lord. And Sunday by Sunday and day by day, Lord, you give us so much richness in your word and how to do it, Lord, how to do good to all those that are far away or our neighbor that live beside us, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, because you're taking care of your poor ones. You are taking care of all that need, all the disenfranchised, Lord, and that's beautiful. Oh, Lord Almighty, thank you. Thank you for all the gifts that you give to your congregation, Lord, those gifts that can put for the service of others, Lord, and include our community around. Lord Almighty, I have prayer requests from your, your children. Some are sick. Some need you, the desperate, Lord. I'm asking you, Lord, heal, love us, and continue with us without ceasing, Lord. Thank you. Thank you because you are working in all those prayer requests. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Let's pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And I'm going to ask all of you Sing the, the next song, the hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be, because it's all for him. Amen.
Would you please stand? God, we give you thank you, Lord, for the offerings and tithe that your people are bringing to you. Oh, Lord Almighty, thank you for all this money, Lord, that is serving Haiti, Lord. Thank you for this money that is opening other ministries, Lord. Thank you, Lord Almighty, and bless all the families, Lord, from this congregation to continue, Lord, blessing you. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Amen. Please be seated. Our second scripture for today is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us. Created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. The word of God for the people of God. Sophie here, she's going to take the light out into the world here in a second. Here we go. Hold that light up real high for me and just kind of start walking out. As she takes that light out into the world, what was there as a light? Pretend like it's still there. As she takes that light out into the world, that's a reminder that Christ goes out into the world. We are the body of Christ. We are the hands of Christ. We are the feet of Christ. And we are called to go out into the world as the light of Christ into that world. So let us go today into the world and follow Christ, and let us all do good. Amen. Amen. 